Hi, I'm Mattia. And I'm Arthur. And uh, we're removed students uh, at the great school. I actually went to the under school. In fact, in year three, I won the model competition. Uh, um, we're both applying for architecture this year, uh, waiting to hear back. So hopefully that goes well. Mm -hmm. Right, and on Tuesday, we came to the under school to judge your model competition entries. Yeah, and uh, this is what we thought. Exactly. So in judging uh, the models, we were looking for a certain criteria. So firstly, uh, pieces that work towards the design brief. We were also looking for creative use of materials. Uh, precision was very important. And we were also looking for pieces that had a bit of an X factor to them, you know, something that kind of piqued the interest. Exactly, exactly. Um, so after the highly commended was? Right, yeah, we'll start with uh, year three. Um, and highly commended, uh, well done to Issa Khan with Waterfall. We thought this was an amazing use of materials. We loved how it transported us into the scene of the sculpture, and we thought it was overall just a really effective piece of work. So the runner-up for year three was Kian Baglieri, whose piece was The House. Uh, what we really liked about this was the close attention to detail, the variation of materials used very creatively, and it was a very strong piece. And then for the winner, well done to Henry Karp uh, with his sculpture, Mountain Climbing Race. We loved the use of materials to really bring the scene to life, and we liked the little models of the climbers, the use of plasticine. We just thought it was a very, let's say economically put together piece that did a lot with a little. Yeah, very conceptually strong as well. So as for year four, our highly commended was Raphael Zechner, whose model was the Spooky Castle. It was indeed very spooky, which is what we liked about it, uh, and a nice variation of materials, uh, and um, very creative. Right, uh, the runner-up, uh, Ayan Abdul, when you see a good move, look for a better one the chess set. Personally, I loved the detail in the chess pieces and the creative use of sugar cubes, which is not a material that I'm all too familiar with, but I thought it was pulled off very well for a effective sculpture. And we're both fans of chess, so we love that. <laughs> um, and then the winner, uh, the first place, was um, Theo Croc Charles with Neuroplasticity. Uh, very interesting concept, very informative, um, we like the use of walnuts, uh, so nice detail in each figure, um, and yeah, it was uh, a nice merging of art and science. Uh, well done in year five to our highly commended uh, Drew Das with We Need to Stop Pollution, um, and we do, of course. Uh, powerful concept, a powerful message, and I think we agreed that it was executed very concisely and uh, in a very strong way. Mm, definitely. And so the runner-up was Timo Johnson, um, who did design, made a model of a house on stilts. Uh, we really liked the window space, the, the bookshelf, um, and we both thought that that would be a lovely place to live in. Uh, so uh, great work. Yeah, I was a big fan of the interior design on that one. Mm -hmm. And for year five, our winner was Brandon Patel with the sculpture, A Restful Dream. Uh, we loved the details, the use of materials, and we thought the tree and the animals had a lot of charisma and a lot of charm, which um, really won us over. Mm, yeah, and a very peaceful atmosphere to it. Uh, and now for year six, uh, our highly commended uh, chosen model was by Aidan Nguyen, uh, my avatar. It was a very... Uh, nice use of, of, of different colored paper, uh, it stood out, it was unique and uh, very creative. Now, for year six, our runner-up was from uh, Christos Mareos Bartzokas with Relax in the Treehouse, and it was a very relaxing looking treehouse. Uh, we loved the use of the tree to sort of break up the sculpture into two different parts, and the a very good technical skill on display in the construction of the house itself. So uh, well done for that one. Mm -hmm, definitely. And then the winner was um, 
Leonardo Coccini with Leonardo's Treehouse. And what we loved about that was the choice of material. Using wood itself to make the structure for her treehouse is perfect. It's, uh, it's, it's unique, it's creative, and um, it, the windows especially stood out very well made and uh, allowed lots of light enter the interior structure. So uh, great work, Leonardo. Uh, now for year eight, uh, we only had one entry. So congratulations to Max Schuer. Uh, with the water bottle volcano that was our winner for year eight. Uh, we thought it was a great concept and we thought it had a lot of charm to it. Um, so well done to Max for that. And yeah, nice use of material. Yeah. Nice use of material. So um, well, congratulations to all the entrants. It was a very strong model competition. Difficult to decide who was the winners. Um, so well done to everyone. And. Uh, and uh, yeah, keep uh, nurturing your interest in art, I guess, and uh, maybe we'll see you in the grade school at some point. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Thank you to everyone who uh, applied, and uh, bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah.